Loading. Why? Previously on The Walking Dead. Yes. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! No! <laughs> Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Hi guys, welcome to the next episode of The Walking Dead. Um, Yuki here. Last time we completed episode 2. And now we're going to see what's going on with episode 3. Um, I'm feeling kind of tired today. And the last couple of days haven't been very good for me. So um, bear with me. I might not be talking much for the next few recordings. But I will try for you guys because I'm that kind of gal. Oh, I want to be there for you guys. So, um. <laughs> try and stick with me. I guess is what I'm saying. I wonder what you guys thought of episode 2. It was pretty. Intense. Uh, things only get worse Looks like this from is here on out. Day. I don't like it. Keep your eyes open, all right? Just trying to be optimistic. Don't. Let's just get inside. That kind of thinking will get you dead. Oh, so tired. My hands are toasty. Lee, where do you come like, down seriously, on staying or going? You mean not off packing up the motel and getting USB in the RV? Things. Yeah, we've been talking about it, but you made up your mind yet? Maybe we split up there. Split up? If I thought that wasn't suicide, I'd have been gone a long time ago. Oh, this is so good. So good. Okay. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladders come loose. Brilliant, I'm Kenny. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. Hold well on. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. Kenny breaking my ladder. This could only go badly. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Okay. You might have to bear with me with these ones, guys, because I can't remember exactly what I have to do. Um, episode 1 and 2 I've played a Lily's few not times. Doing so good, huh? But these ones are... Uh, it's not good. I'm worried. No, it's not. I hope These she ones, snap. I've only played the one our lives time. In that meat locker, you know? I'll probably die about a bazillion times before the end of this playthrough. Just in these three episodes.
I hope you guys can hear me okay. Um, my new headset that I got for Christmas, it doesn't have a mic on it. So um, I'm having to use my old headset just for the microphone. I've got it kind of propped up in front of me, but it's not, you know, the best method of recording, I guess. Your girl still upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? Um. I haven't asked. Just gonna let it stew, huh? La la la. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? That wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. He'll get over it. Herschel's son is one of how many now? We've all seen a lot worse. He's a tough kid, you know. Like I said, not much phases him, but it's starting to add up. Farm, the dairy. I need to get to the coast. Get him out of all this madness. Yeah, he'll grow a freaking backbone. Yeah, sure, you're up for this. We'll have nerves of steel. Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. I got this. Yeah, I bet you don't got this. Yeah, see. Shit. You don't got this, Kenny. Don't ever let me trust you again. Nice one. Nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. <laughs> That's such an insult. Ben's good for nothing. <laughs> it's like the worst scream ever. Somebody help me! What is that? A walker? Does it look like a walker? Do they? Jesus, I don't think so. Why are you retarded? Uh, it doesn't know. matter. We gotta keep moving. Let's just leave her. Let's think about this. Nope. Let's be sensible and not die. Fuck. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. You don't know we're here. I can what do, do that. Mean? I mean, we leave her alive and she draws them all to her, buying us time. Can't. Think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't see. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. <laughs> Go away! No. No! No! Oh, it forced me to look away. Well, I didn't get to see anything. Should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. Okay. I'm pretty sure you can get everything, but you have to be quite quick. You can get most. She's gone. There's not much time now. Just grab as much as you can, basically, I guess. Looks like I did get everything. Um, I think. I guess I'm pro like that. Lots of supplies. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee. Up and over. K. 
Kenny, your plans never work. Still clear. Let's hustle. See? See, this is all your fault. Now I have to do my Q's and E's. Kenny, stop being a lazy bastard. Fridge. Indeed, it is a fridge. You're so smart today. Uh oh. Punch. Falcon punch. Q. Eh eh eh. Let me eat your face. Let's go, pal. Looks like everyone just went back to the motor in. I'm sorry, but who would leave Ben in charge of anything? You're back. Ben found some stickers in a door, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Protect Clem if he was decked out of rocket launchers. He probably Looks like we up got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone and come and rape our women and children. Yeah, see, Kenny gets me. So, what did you get? <sighs> Lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, don't see you we'll going out and getting the supplies. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here. He's piling into an RV with you two. After what you did to my dad is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. <sighs> Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We do whatever is best for the kids. Doesn't that make sense? It's suicide out there. We'll die in here. You're right. You could see someone sleeping and kill one of us. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly? Yeah, well, Lily, I would watch your back. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily, Kenny's got some legit points here. I'm so tired of it being you two versus Damn me. Damn it. I'm not on anyone's side, Lily. These decisions affect everyone. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How is this What are you going to do once you got on your boat? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. That's BS, Kenny. And you... We deal with shit as it comes, <laughs> just like we Shut always up, Lily. do. And when They're 15 men bandits talk. hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just going to deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? We got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? Yep. God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we yeah, see. Yeah, what have you been doing, Lily? We appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What God, PMS! I know, I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. 
stealing, and I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Uh, somebody's on their period. Happy, Kenny? My family's alive and that RV is running. You goddamn right I am. Everyone is under great stress. She's right about one thing. None of this is getting any easier. <sighs> Ooh, things are coming to a head. Oof! You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Oh, yeah. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. I think Lee no is going to get some. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. Yeah, he is. She's heading to the bedroom, Lee. You want to get in on that? Oh. Sexy time. Oh. Talk to Lily yet? You're no, wearing clothes. Yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. Oh, yeah. I think about you, too. I think about you, too. Our group is small. You're small. <laughs> Best compliment ever. You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone. But think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. Uh No. Forget it. I have. You should too. Larry's gone, but he knew. If he didn't tell Lily outright, he probably said enough to make her wonder. I'll tell you what I would tell anybody, apocalypse or not. There comes a time when you can get out ahead of something like this and discuss it on your terms. Do it before that chance is taken away. No. no. I'm not doing that. People have enough to worry about. What are you so afraid of? Three months ago I told you to tell no one and now I'm telling you to tell everyone. Do you think it's because they'll turn on you? We almost got eaten for fuck's sake. Oh, what a... I hope you change your mind. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? Take off your clothes! Do you, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her, that's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. Nah. We'll look into this thing. Good idea. Um... What was I doing? Let's go see how Lily's doing. Hi Lily, I killed your dad. It was the best decision I ever made. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? I think you're coming unhinged. You think? I'm not going to play the victim, but you and your buddy might have had a hand in my instability. Can I do anything for you? Haven't you... No. Yes. I could use your help. There's a traitor. Somebody, one of us, out there. He or she or they have been taking things. You haven't really been sleeping. Don't start in on that. You've been through a trauma, and you're not taking care of yourself. It counts off, and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. 
What's there to go on? I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Hmm. I think you're reaching a bit here. Seems like you're manufacturing this from nothing. Prove me wrong. Or I'll just assume it was you. A mystery. <laughs> Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're <laughs> the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson. Your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. How? What? <laughs> you can't help. And if you tell anybody, it will be trouble. Secrecy. Did <laughs> you hear what I just said? I won't tell a soul. The part about not helping? You can't help. I will live in the shadows. <laughs> This is the best that Doc ever gets. Okay, I'm gonna call it here guys. Um, in the next part we're gonna go all Sherlock Holmes on this and solve the mystery of the missing supplies. But I'll see you guys then.